So in this lab, we are going to demonstrate some advanced A to D conversion. To demonstrate that, we are going to use the small temperature sensor that you can see that's taped to the side of this light bulb. This small sensor looks like a small bipolar junction transistor, but it's actually a temperature sensor that puts out 10 millivolts per Kelvin. All that it requires is this small resistor to plus 5 volts, this brown wire that goes to ground, and this blue wire that goes into analog input 10. The rest of the circuit that you see here, including the light bulb, is not being used by this lab. So the S12UB board has a single seven-segmented LED display that is over here, and that LED display has to display that temperature in Celsius. And since this sensor is putting out 10 millivolts per Kelvin, one of the challenges of this lab is, of course, to interpret that using the A to D in assembly language to then display the temperature in Celsius. One of the other challenges in this lab is that since we only have a single seven-segmented LED display, we have to figure out a way so that the user can understand what the temperature is in Celsius. And the way we're going to do that is to blink rapidly the digits with a small delay in between. This will be demonstrated here shortly. Now, in this case, I have the S12UB board with a serial to USB dongle that then is connected to my laptop since my laptop does not have a serial port installed. So let's go ahead and run the simulation, not the simulation, that is we're going to connect to the, uh, the serial monitor. So we're going to hit the go button here and then execute the program by hitting the green arrow. And so now that it's executing, let's go back and take a look. Notice that the temperature is reading 23. That's 23 degrees Celsius. That's the ambient temperature here. And um, you can see that the way that I've decided to do it is to rapidly display the two digits and then a small delay in between so that the user can interpret that. Now, let's go ahead and warm up this sensor a little bit and watch the temperature change, hopefully. Okay, so the temperature is beginning to rise from the body heat. The other thing that we can obviously do is to use some freeze spray and we can go ahead and lower the temperature here on the bulb which is connected to the temperature sensor and you can see that the temperature is dropping now it's 19 degrees Celsius and so forth 18 okay and as it begins to come back to ambient and we can actually accelerate that with warming it up with our fingers again there it goes 20 degrees and so forth So again, the challenges in this lab are to receive the temperature as a voltage signal as 10 millivolts per Kelvin through this LM335, and then to go ahead and display that in decimal on a single seven-segmented LED display. And to do that takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of um, uh, assembly language knowledge, but it gives us a taste for what is required in the real world when we interface a, a real sensor to uh, a microprocessor system.